Hallo und willkommen. Willkommen zum zweiten Part von Path of the Warrior. Und als nächstes, als nächstes gehen wir gegen Rick Root. Also ich habe es noch gar nicht gesehen. Ladies and gentlemen, the rules are simple. You win either by pinfall or escaping the cage, either through the door or over the top. Well, the rules may sound simple, but I assure you, there's nothing simple about competing in a match of this caliber. It's a very exciting match from a spectator standpoint, but as King can attest, steel cage matches can leave a lifetime of pain behind. This rivalry between Rick Rude and Ultimate Warrior has been going on for more than a year with both men owning big wins over the road. But there is no bigger match in either man's career than tonight with the WWE Championship on the line inside a vicious steel cage. You know, I'd say the bad blood between these two reached a new level when Rick Rude viciously attacked Ultimate Warrior during their pose down back at the 1989 Royal Rumble. That really set it off, King. From there, Rude went on to capture the Intercontinental Championship from Warrior at WrestleMania 5. With a little help from Bobby Heenan, of course. Yeah, the Warrior got his revenge later that year at SummerSlam when he beat Rude to reclaim the Intercontinental Championship. But can Warrior beat the Ravishing One once again here tonight? That's the big question. Ultimate Warrior imposes his will. Ultimate Warrior, what offense! At last year's SummerSlam, these two superstars squared off with the Intercontinental Championship on the line. Fast forward 12 months, and the Ultimate Warrior and Rick Rude are competing for the most prestigious prize in all of sports entertainment. But speaking of the Intercontinental Championship, as we get on this battle inside the steel cage, and look at Rude now! Rude has gone for the Rude Awakening! If he hits this, it could be over! But Warrior, Warrior, powering out, powering out here! Ultimate Warrior. Oh, big close line by the Ultimate Warrior. And I think he's coming to the spot. Yes! Oh, the root counter. Knees right to the middle. 
that section. Great move control. by Rude. Very, very smart move by Rick Rude. What's he going to do now, though? Staggering over to the... Wait, are you kidding me? He's going to try to climb out of the cage. Rude's going to try to climb out of the cage. No, well, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Ah, Rude off the top of the cage. Oh, but he's caught by the Warrior right in the stomach. shit. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Whoa! And yeah, there's a stiff clothesline. Rick Rude maybe signed up for this match. Well, the thing about steel cage matches is that they are so unpredictable. And then add the ultimate warrior to the mix, and the whole thing becomes one big frenetic collision. Oh man, what a battle this is. And now, oh, what a collision. Both men are down cold. And look at yeah, Cole Long versus the, the two Rude is crawling for the door. You smile on the face of Bobby Heenan. Yeah, Heenan is begging and pleading Rude to make this it's hard. Pull Rude out. That's not fair. Heenan is going to try to pull Rude out now. Tug of war between Warrior and Heenan. Man, look at the, look at the strip pull here. They wind up being seven feet tall when this is over. And now, the Warrior has Bobby Heenan in the cage. Oh! How did that feel, Heenan? Uh-oh. And now Warrior could have prey on Heenan. Oh! oh, man. And Heenan said right through the door. And atomic drop. Well, Warrior has finished off Heenan. Now what's he got in store for Rick Rude? You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Rick Rude on the Osman. What? Oh, the reversal by Rick Rude. Look out! For the first time ever, the great city of Philadelphia is hosting the That's it. He's done. Gorilla Bruins. That's the man's house. about to be made here at WrestleMania for the first time ever in WWE. It's a career-ending matchup. Oh, you're right about that, Cole. One of these superstars will be leaving Los Angeles without a career. We're witnessing the final match for one of these great competitors. But which one? Will it be the last time we see Warrior, or is it Savage's final match? We'll find out here tonight. And that one hit with the force of a big rig. It's gotta hurt. King, I can't imagine being a superstar All right now in the locker room area watching on the monitor and realizing you have to follow this historic encounter. Oh, man, you said it. I would not want to have to follow these two, that's for sure. But we have plenty of great action still to come here at WrestleMania, including Sergeant Slaughter defending the WWE Championship against Hulk Hogan. And you can bet the Hulkster will have an entire nation in his corner when he squares off against that American turncoat. That Iraqi sympathizer, the WWE Champion Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, I can't imagine anybody actually wants to see Sergeant Slaughter win. Well, except for maybe General Agnon. Oh no, wait a minute, Cole, what's he gonna do here? The kick connects. Oh, ouch! 
He's in big trouble. Bam! If you told me back when Ultimate Warrior made his pay-per-view debut at WrestleMania 4 that he'd potentially be retiring a few short years later, I'd call you a liar. Uh, it, it almost doesn't seem fair that one of these men has to hang up their boots for good following this one. No, it doesn't, Cole. But speaking of WrestleMania 4, that was a pretty big night in the career of Randy Savage as well. It was there that he became WWE Champion. And to win the title that night, he had to get through four men in one night, including Ted DiBiase. Tonight, though, he only has the Warrior. Yet somehow this night seems like a much more daunting task. This might be big! Nicely avoided there. Oh, it's getting much king, Randy Savage. Now back to the ring. They may not be able to see it or even admit it, but Ultimate Warrior and Randy Savage have so much in common. They're both such colorful, larger-than-life personalities, and both are in just amazing physical condition. And let's not forget both are former Intercontinental and... So keine Aufgaben für die Menschen. That's vintage Randy Savage right there, everyone. And here he comes. And he's caught by Warrior. I can't believe it. The ultimate warrior catching Savage out of midair. Oh, what a shot. Ultimate Warrior trying to prove a point here to Savage. Aber warum hat er Gordon früher eigentlich immer Titelmatches bekommen? Und die Hulk Cena gewinnt immer oder meistens. Man, after the distraction with that chair, it looks like Savage is in total control. That's gotta hurt. Off an opponent. Hey now! <laughs> oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. Another stiff kick. You can trace the bad blood between these two superstars all the way back to the Royal Rumble. Well, that's right. After Warrior refused to grant Savage a title match, the Macho King made it his mission to make sure Warrior lost his title defense against Sergeant Slaughter later that night. And really, Warrior was in a no-win. Done. 
I've just been informed that this is the biggest pay-per-view audience in the history of pay-per-view. Wow. Well, they're seeing the greatest wrestling action in the history of pay-per-view. I can guarantee you that. And the Warrior. He's got, whoa, look at this. Warrior's wrapped up the Macho King. He's got a devil to referee. He's distracted by Queen Sherry. And now the referee in a position. The cover. Oh, he almost had him. Oh, my goodness. Queen Sherry saving it. And look at the referee trying to explain the situation. Whoa, look at that. And the referee knocked down. What is, wait a minute. What is the Macho King calling for Sherry to do here? She's got a shoe in her hand. Oh, my God. Look out, Sherry with a high heel. Oh, my gosh, Warrior moves out of the way. And Sherry has hit the Macho King right in the head. He's crowned by the Queen. Sherry can't believe it. Macho King with the excellent move to get out. No, oh, Macho King getting completely dominated here, people. It's worth mentioning that this match can end in disqualification. And that was a huge counter. Schön selber ausgehen. Alles schön da schon zeigen. Ich kann mal auch was wieder was machen. Oh, Macho King hier mit einem huge Slam. Und Macho King, er wird den Ultimate Warrior auf den Boden schauen. Oh, ich glaube, er geht für den großen Blind Elbow Drop. Savage Elbow 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 Savage gonna go up top again! A second time, there's no need for this! Oh my god! Second elbow by Savage! Covering Savage! What on earth? What is Savage trying to do to the Ultimate Warrior here? You gotta be kidding me! A third elbow! Cover him down, please, I'm begging you! Michael, this makes no sense! I think Savage is trying to end the career of the Ultimate Warrior. Warrior has it moved. A Savage with a fourth elbow. This is unbelievable. No, no more. What is going through the mind of Randy Savage? This will be the fifth blind elbow drop. Oh, Savage again. Oh, this is it. Here's Excellent. the cover. Shoulders are down. And Warrior kicked out! Unbelievable! Savage can't believe it either! How did the Ultimate Warrior kick out after five Savage elbow drops? And now he's back to his feet! You cannot give the Macho Man that much time to recuperate. Now Savage is up and the Warrior is down. Quite frankly, I'm shocked to see Miss Elizabeth in attendance here. But is she here to see Savage lose or to cheer him on? Why are you so shocked? Miss Elizabeth played a very important part in the career of the Macho King. It's only fitting that she'd be here, especially after all the trials and tribulations she's been through with Savage. I wonder how much she paid for that ticket. What did you comp it for, Cole? Chit, 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 chit. I have a sandwich. What a reversal! Oh, Macho King is gonna have a nice bruise after that. Undertaker, get ready. I think we may have another. Yes, he is. Two big shots. And now what's... Wow! A massive clothesline from the Warrior. And another! And another! Oh, the Warrior is unstoppable right now. Three hours again. And then we turn to the Warrior. Oh, my. 
Ja, letztes Jahr war Ring sehr früh zwar im Spiel, aber nicht mit der Match und der Äh, mit der King Match hat er ja gesetzt, äh, ne? Ich will selber spielen. Letztes Jahr war er zwar auch ein Spiel, aber nicht mit der Match und der Match. Mit anderen Atomen. I don't know how Savage did it, but look at sensational Sherry. She's so happy that Savage survived here. Warrior, once again, he looks as if he's talking to some sort of powers up above. Sensational Sherry pleading with the Macho King. Get up, please, Randy, get up. Oh, look at this look on the face of the Ultimate Warrior. What's he thinking here? Who knows? It almost looks like he's talking to his powers above, King. I know. Well, they better tell him to do something quick because Savage is almost back to his feet. Oh, and Warrior blasted off the apron. Knew that would happen. Warrior take it off his feet. Well, if his goal is to anger the warrior, he may have just succeeded. A sharp elbow drop. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh, launched back into the ring. And he's heading back in. Connected? Um, la, 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 la. Two. Close line. Oh, no man, close line. Oh, no man, close line. Okay. Hey. He flies. Crossbody. There. And he hits the neck breaker. One, two. Oh, the punch. Connects. Watch it. He looks fired up here. Wait a minute. It's not over yet. He's still got some fight left. Look at this, here he comes, he's not done yet. Oh no, he's here to fight. One, two, three. Ultimate Warrior victorious here in the City of Angels. And his career will go on. Savages, on the other hand, is history. Wow, he just never got out of the starting gate. What an impressive victory that was.